Hello everyone and welcome back to WoW Classic. Thank you so much for joining me today in the Redbridge Mountains. We're going to start off by tackling the Blackrock Menace. The Blackrock Orcs have traveled from the Burning Steeps and claim Stonewatch Keep to the north. From there they maraud the areas north of Lakeshire and keep its citizens in town penned like cattle. Help rid Lakeshire of this menace. Kill these Blackrock Orcs and bring me ten of their battle-worn axes as proof. And although Blackrocks threaten us from the north, we've received reports of more in the southeastern pocket of Red Ridge. If you find any there, then they too should be hunted. So two places we can find these guys. We can find them up around this area here uh, where we're currently investigating. And I guess we can find them way over here to the southeast. Let's see if we can find what we need right around uh, the north here. Oh, hello, boys. That's still recharging. Oh, how nice to see you both. Yeah. Hi, hi there. You're level 19. It's not too intimidating. Okay, it kind of is. How about you run away? Oh, they didn't run away. That's not good. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves up, shall we? Thank you for the intellect, sir. What is this guy doing? He's just like running like crazy. It's very unsettling. Yeah, you can go ahead and chill there. We'll just go ahead and take you out. Let's go back to Mind Blast there. Mind Blast is a little faster, even though we have rank 4 of Smite now and it does a bit more damage. Still think that just having the quicker cast, 1.5 seconds as opposed to 2 point, that's a, that's an entire second. It's a huge deal, so we'll go back to Mind Blasting there. It's also more mana efficient. It's 15 less mana to Mind Blast. Damage is comparable, but Smite is technically more damage. Perhaps only because it's a higher rank, I, I'm not sure. It's only rank 2 of Mind Blast. The drop rate for the Axis seems pretty okay. The Red Ridge Mystics are not going to have the Shadow Hide Pendants. I think they're just to the east somewhere, like over in this area, pretty sure. But I think we'll have more quests that send us over there. So I don't know if we prioritize that now or not. I think if we head back into this area here, we'll find more of these orcs. Possibly of varying levels and difficulty. Well, I see corpses. Level 22 corpses, so if we're going to be back here, we probably need to be a little careful. I don't know how much further back we should go. Level 22 still, uh, level 21. This is okay. Um, we might not get this guy. That spell isn't ready yet. Well, we didn't get him the way I would want to get him, but I thought maybe this human priest was also going to start casting at him. Doesn't seem any more difficult to take out than the level 19 guy. Now these will probably get annoying. I don't even know if they'll have axes. We'll want to kill the minions first, just because if not, they'll just be pelting us with damage. That should take care of them. Ah, 
Ouch. That's still recharging. Uh, maybe he'll die of pain. There we go. No axe on him. Doesn't look like the type that would have an axe in the first place. Alright, if we do this, we're going to be pulling both these guys. And they're at level with us, which means we could get resists, we could get all kinds of negative crap going on. Let's cross our fingers for a smooth pull. Okay, something did get resisted. Rather immediately. Okay. I can't cast that yet. Damn, that knockdown sucks. That spell isn't ready yet. Well, that's good enough. You know, it wasn't the smoothest pull we've ever had, but it got the job done and we were able to defeat two at-level enemies, so... Very, very good. Let's come back this way and just see if we can pick up anybody else. Mm, maybe we head back here? Just a little farther? I don't know. Not sure what's all the way back here. Well, a lot more orcs, except these ones are level 24. Let's just see what this guy can do to us. And if it's bad, we won't proceed. But we should be able to take at least him out. I feel like a big resist still happened there. I can't cast that yet. That's still recharging. Hey, we got silk off of that guy. That's very interesting because I still would like to get quite a bit of wool. Um, and I'm not quite ready for silk. These guys are all in packs of like very, very many. And they're up to level 25 that we've seen. I, I don't think we're going to go any deeper into this little area. I have a feeling that something will compel us to go there later on, perhaps at a higher level. Let's just try to focus on the guys out here that are a bit lower in level. You can go ahead and net us. We're not planning to need to run anywhere right now. Perhaps any orcs hiding back here? Aha! Up on the ridges. But facing the wrong way for an ambush, unfortunately for him. Enraging doesn't help when it's time for you to run away, now does it? Okay, that's a little bit of a weird angle. And then some of these guys are dropping linen still, while like, at level 24, the others are dropping silk. Very unusual. I'd love to get some more consistent cloth going on. We're gonna need a lot more cloth to level up our tailoring through what we can currently make. And I, I'm really interested to do that. I just, the knolls to the south in this zone, they, they drop. They drop wool. They don't drop it consistently. They drop linen about 40% of the time. 
And that's not entirely bad because we can sell the linen for a little bit more than a gold a stack right now, which is, you know, the most lucrative thing I've found so far uh, in Classic at these levels has been selling linen for like a gold and 20 silver, a stack of 20. It takes a while to get a stack of 20, but... Alright, back down here we could... Just kind of take a look around, see... They like to be lurking by these trees, and... Yeah, there's some bodies. There's a body of a player. Perhaps we resurrect? It can't hurt us to. Well, the competition could hurt us. Yeah, that part's true. It could actually have negative impacts on our game. <laughs> oh, the reply down here. Oh. All right. <laughs> I don't think the graveyard is very far, but it always dies to... Or it always sucks to just die, you know, out in the middle, surrounded by enemies, and then having to run back. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. It seems like it's kind of unfair for them to be here, like, stacked up like this. And it, it kind of aggravates me, so we're going to try it, and we'll use Psychic Scream. We also have a pretty big heal in Desperate Prayer if we need that. I'm going to try to burn one of these guys. I don't know if that's going to work. I can't cast that yet. Not unless we have a shield that's not. Come on, let me get it off. Come on! Alright, now run away. We are going to heal ourselves and we are going to make it. We're not going to make it! I can't drink any more yet. <laughs> We got some help there, too. Without that help, um, we might have been in some big trouble. Well, at least we tried to say something. See, maybe that was good karma. We, we rezzed the one guy and then we got help from the other. It feels like pretty good karma. We didn't get a single item, did we? From all that? Doesn't look like it. The road is a little bit safer for adventurers now, though. We can take solace in that. I'm, I'm sure that the density of orcs is probably a lot greater to the south. I'm half tempted to run down there. I just don't know that we could pair it with any other quest that would make going down there right now worth it. So I guess we'll go up here again and just uh, hope for some respawns, I guess. Well, if I can get us back here. I'm out of range. A little bit of panic. Wasn't really expecting the guy to be there, but you know, should have been. Should have been wary, to say the least. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to not have power word shield or inner fire going. That's a mistake that'll probably end us dead really fast.
we can check down here. I saw another player fighting against these guys a moment ago. I don't know if this is the way that he went. Well, he didn't clear this one, if so. How dare you? You'd think if they enraged, they, they wouldn't run. In my mind, the two things don't really go well together. Like, if you're enraged, you're probably just gonna go berserker and fight to the death, right? Especially if you're an orc, and they're all about, like, honorable combat and, like, honorable death in combat. It doesn't make sense for them to enrage and then run. You can have them run, I guess. There's always people who are gonna run. Obviously, it makes sense to run. But not if you're enraging, like... You know? Basically, what, right on the border with the Blasted Lands? So, oh, the Burning Steeps. Steps. Definitely high probability of me pronouncing that incorrectly, seeing as how it's a word that I've read many, many times. I don't think I've ever heard anybody else say it aloud. Um, well, no respawns out here. Are we could, this... It's kind of making me regret just not heading down to the south. If I were you guys, I, I would suggest when you go to do this quest, I, I, I remember there being just a huge encampment of, of orcs down there. I don't know if they're higher level than the guys up here. They may be, like a little bit of a higher level, but... It might be worth waiting and just doing it down there because... Waiting for respawns up here or coming back to the road to check for the lurkers... Um, is not really that great. There's one lurker. Well, he had an axe, and I greatly appreciate that fact. This is better. Without any players around, makes it a little bit smoother of an experience. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Well, he had a battle axe, but just not the kind we need for the quest, I suppose. We can take two of these guys, no problem. It's the three pull that will probably avoid uh, going forward. I like starting off with the crit there. It's very nice. No more axes. Well, damn. And the only guys left down here are the three pack. That, like I said, we're, we're not going to tempt fate there again. We got lucky the first time and a player helped us out, but 
We can't rely on that, especially right now. I don't see anybody else around that would help out. So back down the road we go. Where we end, I think we all know. Like frantically scanning for any lurkers in the woods that we could take on. Knowing that if we go down this path, there's a high probability that there's going to be more players back here. Well, that's promising. I, I do see an outrunner right here. That's actually very promising because it means no one has just been through here. Like just this moment before we got here. So maybe we'll be able to get a few back here. I love that they net us and then they run, but, you know, we're kind of a caster, so... Like, we can stay netted and start fighting this next guy. That's how little the net means. You'll run. There you go. They've just completely, like... Stop wanting to drop axes, I guess. Oh, we got one somewhere. We had six. We have seven now. That was from the peon out there on the ledge, though, right? Closer. Yeah, it was. Ah! Ha, <laughs> We are very lucky that we're level 22 and not like level 19 or 20 because these guys probably would have been all over us. Uh, we could take these guys out, that's absolutely fine. But let's just hold on a second, there we go. We're letting weakened soul wear off a little bit so if we have to quickly recast powered shield we'll be able to do that. Uh, and it tends to be necessary. Like we're just gonna go ahead and do it now and then we'll wander this guy down. And then we'll just kind of deal with some of the damage for the next four seconds or so. That spell isn't ready. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could have been disastrous, so therefore not too bad. Still no axes from these fellows. Again, I don't think we're going up there unless maybe to grab this first guy's level 23. The next guy, I can't quite target level 23. Are they going to pull together though? Because that would kind of be a deal breaker for me. This guy's, this guy might be arranged. He might throw that. No, he didn't. Okay, good. Oh, we did get the imp though. I don't really want the imp to be quite honest. Well, it's coming with the Warlock, too, is the problem. Oh, they could shoot through the wall at us. Well, let's get out of here, shall we? They can shoot through the mountainside, then... I don't really want any part of it. We looted that guy, we didn't get anything, so let's get out. And we could head a little ways north and see if we can pick up... Ah, uh, yep, here we go. There's the... Little cliff lurker. We have fought him before. That's still recharging. I can't cast that. Well, now they're dropping wool. They're just not dropping any more battle axes. I guess beggars shouldn't be choosers, you know? We're getting wool, and that's very good.
What's not good is that we're probably going to have to run back along the road to check for some more orcs. And then there's not a really high probability that we find three and get three axes, so no doubt this is not the last time we've seen this little canyon. It's the canyon of false promises. You know, we thought there'd be plenty of orcs back there, but ultimately there aren't plenty of orcs. And the ones that are back there are quite a high level. And they were all in these little camps of like three or four guys. So it's not something that we really want to deal with. Look at this guy running up from, from somewhere. He was sprinting quite a distance. Uh, we fought him before. Let's round the tree here. and They're all sprinting out of the woods. Hmm. I wonder what their paths are like. This little whelp is... Kind of in our way. Well, fingers crossed, but that spell isn't ready yet. three more guys that we can take on without any problems out here, but we need two more axes. The drop rate hasn't been that great. The wool drop rate's getting better and better, though. So, hey. Silver linings. Well, that was a huge and unfortunate resist there that he got. Now let's see if we can actually get Holy Fire off. We can. Let's cast recast our barrier, see if we can wand him down. Or at least make him run before we start taking any actual damage. There we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, Holy Fire, not the smartest thing to cast right now. Let's That's back that true. out and try again. Well, thanks for the help, Paladin. You make me wish we had taken on the three guys instead of just the two guys. I wonder if he would have helped out then. And look at that. No big surprise here. Uh, we didn't get any other axes. Except from the consistent peon over here that basically has always dropped an axe for us. We get nothing. So there's that. So back to the canyon we go. At least we're catching the respawns consistently before any other players are getting back here and clearing them all. I'm out of range. That's good. I wonder if we have these two lurking behind the tree again yet. Yes, we do. Hey, fellas. Nice to see you again. Would one or both of you kindly drop an axe for us, though? We feel like, after all this time, we have the kind of relationship where you can give us an axe. I can't cast that yet. Ouch! Right on our ass. Spell 
Hey, one of them had an axe. That's, you know, I'll take it at this point. These two are kind of converging, but I bet if we wait a minute, we could probably just get one of them. I need to get closer. No, you need to wait. Here we go. He's level 24. A little bit beefier than his companions. Why do we stop? Hmm. That was a little weird. I don't think I hit the button, but maybe I did. Silk. More silk. I'll take it. Let's go check for the guy up on the hill back here, see if maybe he wants to drop an axe for us. Was he back here or was he? I think he was further back that way. Either way, we can, we gotta be able to find somebody. Here we go. Who are you? Uh, you are a level 23 summoner. Where's your imp? Oh no. You're gonna have an imp and an ad. I don't really care for that. Oh, let's get this guy on his own. I'd like to avoid these two up here, and if possible, maybe just grab this guy down here. I don't know if that's going to actually happen or not. I have a feeling that things might go horribly wrong here if we're not careful. Let's just cross our fingers. Everything seems fine. Unless he runs over to them, which I don't think he's going to... Yeah, there, he went the wrong way. Got pretty far, though. Okay, uh, great. No, no axe yet. Do I dare do this? I have to get through, like, all three of them. I don't know about the work involved in that. Damn. I think this is gonna need at least one smite. Then, uh, a heal? Shit, come on. I can't drink any more yet. Yeah, I get that. That, is still recharging. that guy is running back there, but he doesn't have any damage on him, so that's not gonna work for us. He resisted. Oh, this is not great. Oh, damn, I was just going for Desperate Prayer. We got that guy too. <laughs> How awful. <laughs> All right, the graveyard is, you know, very far away. So that's death number two for the priest. I will cut back in. Once we're back at our body, we'll hope for the best. All right, well, let's see if there's any chance we can take this guy out and loot the one that we actually defeated. We probably could have handled things a little bit differently. Well. You know, that's always the case, isn't it? Maybe get some mana back. Might not be the worst idea. He resisted our Mind Blast?
Okay. I would really like to get that axe now. I feel like we've worked hard for it. Chest back there. There we go. <laughs> At long last. And we picked up some leather shoulders we don't need. Let's check out what's in the chest. Nothing great. That makes sense for this area. Just uh, nothing great. Alright, let's go ahead and get back to town. And we don't really need to fight anybody else, so we'll see if we can just slide past all these guys. I have a feeling we're not going to slide by this one. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare to just be running away, basically. Hey, that's great. He had his back turned to us, so he didn't aggro. Wonderful. I have a feeling that's not the last time that we'll be back in that cavern full of black rock orcs. We'll definitely be going back into that cavern that we saw at some point, or past those camps rather, into the cavern. There were a couple different types of orcs back there. Maybe some subsequent quest will force us to go back. Maybe we'll be able to take on the orcs in the south, though, instead for a change of pace. Someone took those three out. Better them than us. Light be with you. Have you been slaying orcs? If so, then show me. That makes for a lot fewer orcs to worry about. It really does, actually. Theral Zoon. Blackrock Outrunners and Renegades are running ambushes between here and Stonewatch Keep. The leader of the Outrunners is an orc named Theral Zoon. We want this orc. Bring me the head of Theral Zoon. Between here and Stonewatch Keep. That's kind of vague. Uh, maybe he's just out somewhere to the east, like over here generally in this area. I'm not very sure. Okay, it is an elite quest, so yeah, probably somewhere back there. The only other yellow quest we have here is Solomon's Law, it looks like. Oh, wait. Shadow Magic. The Black Ark Orcs enlisted shadow casters to aid their attacks in Red Ridge, and they have brought with them devices of dark power, midnight orbs. These orbs have struck telling blows against Red Ridge's defenders, and it's imperative we remove the demon tainted items from the conflict. Find and deliver me midnight orbs from slain Blackrock shadow casters. I will then have them disposed of, for this world would be a better place without them. Bring three midnight orbs from shadow casters. The Alliance. Do we know where there are shadow casters? Wherever we'd be getting Shadowhide Pendants, we would probably be fighting some Shadowhide Shadowcasters. So possibly... Oh, this is an elite quest too. So maybe we eventually, when this is yellow, we try to pair these two together. Uh, and that's if we have any luck finding a group. Hey, here it looks like that'll be a little bit easier than in the Wetlands. The Wetlands must not be people's favorite place to level during this leveling bracket. I'll admit that it isn't really my favorite place either. But we have a lot of quests to do there, and so I, I think we're going to head there next. And uh, then we'll have Solomon's Law. When this turns green and all these are yellow, then we'll know we could probably come back. But I think we want to go to the wetlands for a while next and work through some of these yellow quests there. Um, and just continue the zone hopping like we've done. Just to keep us ahead of the leveling curve, I think it's working out really well. And I've been enjoying it. 
And I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all the support.